Hi gang, here we are again, more on emotions. This time we're talking about sadness. Sadness is once again one of those emotions that we need to get out of our system and that we most often feel triggered about, that we don't deliberately bring up, and yet you can will up with it. And in fact, in my experience in the one-on-one -on -one clinical work that we do, is that I find lots of people hit their 40s and 50s and find sadness swelling up and erupting for no reason. They come to me and say, you know, I don't know what's going on, you know. All, all of a sudden, I can, you know, someone runs over the next door neighbor's cat, and I hate cats, but I feel sad, and I start to cry. And so uh, what we see is that once the bucket is full, over it flows. So you need to develop strategies for regularly expressing sadness. Probably the most common method for that in our culture is to go and watch a sad movie. You know, some people call them chick flicks. Uh, call them what you like, but you know, you'll notice that the movie makers make movies in genres because uh, it's predictable what we're going to feel. So you can watch a vengeance movie, you can watch a drama, you can watch a horror movie. How you will feel is quite predictable based on the genre of the movie. So make no mistake, uh, the movie makers know what's going on here and uh, that's a multi-billion dollar industry. In fact, I've heard someone say it's the eighth largest industry in the world. So if those people know that our emotions are up for manipulation, then what we need to do is make sure that we are not open to that. So like being angry deliberately, being sad deliberately is also something it is that's in your best emotional health interests. So find however it is that you can do that. Now whether that's go and help people who are underprivileged or as I said watch the sad movies or whatever it is or go and be with people who are bereaved do whatever it is you've got to do to on a regular basis proactively express some sadness it's a part of you or it'll own you until it's not a part of you